Hello, I'm Congressman Mark Takano. Over the last four years, I've had the honor of representing Riverside, Moreno Valley, Harupa Valley, and Paris in the United States House of Representatives. In that time, we've made great progress. Our local economy has continued to recover from the Great Recession, and the Affordable Care Act has extended health insurance coverage to tens of millions of people across the country, including families here in the Inland Empire. But there's still so much more we must do to ensure that every American receives his or her fair share of our nation's growing prosperity. That's why I work every day to help our local community prosper. Before being elected to Congress, I served for more than 20 years as a high school teacher. I saw firsthand the challenges that our public school students face both in the classroom and after they graduate, including the onerous burdens such as high-stakes standardized testing imposed by the No Child Left Behind law. This year, as a member of the Education and Workforce Committee, I helped lead the effort to establish a new education policy that puts the focus back on learning. Building local prosperity also means ensuring that working Americans with full-time jobs can live on their wages. That's why I have strongly supported raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour nationwide, because no one who works 40 hours a week should live in poverty. I also led efforts in Congress to support President Obama's new overtime pay rule. In the 1970s, more than 60% of salaried workers had overtime pay protection when they worked more than 40 hours a week. Because of inflation and government inaction, less than 10% are protected today. The rule issued by the White House this year would mean four times as many people will receive overtime pay or have more time to spend with their families. That's a change that will put more money in the pockets of, of hardworking Americans, and I was very proud to support it. Of course, the work that makes me proudest is what my office and I have done on behalf of our nation's veterans. The men and women who serve our country in uniform deserve our greatest gratitude and our greatest respect. As the acting ranking member of the Veterans Affairs Committee, I have worked with Republicans and Democrats to improve the health care provided to our veterans and protect the benefits they have earned. I have led the charge in Congress against the worst practices of the for-profit college industry, which too often targets veterans with schemes that leave them with unusable degrees and insurmountable debts. My office has returned more than $1.3 million in benefits owed to local veterans, and I will never stop fighting to ensure that our nation keeps its promises to those who put their lives on the line for our freedom. The four years that I've represented the Inland Empire in Congress have been a time of great progress and change. But elections aren't just about the past. They're also about the future. Over the next few weeks, we will decide the direction our country will take for years to come. I am running for re-election to keep fighting for our veterans, to push harder to improve our schools, to bring good paying jobs to our community, and to stand strong in defense of Social Security and Medicare. Unlike some people running for office this year, I don't think we need to make America great again. Our nation is already great, and so long as we hold fast to our shared values, we can become greater still. Our diversity is our strength, not our weakness. We must nurture a solidarity rooted not in resentment, grief, or despair, but one that is anchored in affection, respect, and optimism. When I visit the schools in our community or meet young veterans using their GI Bill benefits at a community college, I cannot help but feel an abundance of hope and optimism for our country. We can make college more affordable. We can raise wages for all workers. We can tackle the challenges of climate change and pass comprehensive immigration reform to keep families together and put hardworking immigrants on a pathway to earn citizenship. Our brightest days can be ahead of us if we put hateful rhetoric and unnecessary division behind us. I'm running for re-election to work with you to keep America moving forward and because I believe that we will always be stronger together. Election day is November 8th and I would be honored to have your vote.